All right, we're back with another Fortnite tip type of situation. We're unboxing Ninja's mouse. So if you guys want to elevate your Fortnite game and potentially play and compete with people like Ninja, let's go, baby! Woo! You should get his mouse. This is fine. This is made by Final Mouse. Yes. They're not actually selling these on their website anymore because they're sold out. So you have they, to pick it up for Amazon. They had a controversy. Ooh. So okay. they took they took in a ton of pre-orders but they couldn't manufacture all of them. Because it's so high quality? Because it was in such high demand. I don't know, whatever, yeah. So pretty much like these are hard to get. If you can find them, make sure you pick them up if you want to. It is the lightest mouse, apparently. So on Final Mouse's website, this goes for $89.99. But since, like Senna said, they're not selling them anymore on the website, you have to pick them up on Amazon.com and they are $215. Yeah, or so eBay. very expensive. Places like that. 58 grams. Very, very light. Yes. Very light. Lightest mouse in the world. Mm -hmm. So it comes in either blue or red. We got it. The blue. What is it? Mystic blue or cherry red? I think mystic blue was mystic the blue. term. I'm excited. I'm excited to use this. The Ninja Air 58 gaming mouse. Yes. Ooh, Nathan, are you excited? So this is designed in California and assembled in China. Yes. Look at, look at the box. Look look at all the detail. Ooh. There it is. Look at that. Look at how pretty that is. The boxing isn't the greatest. It's kind of a cheap car. They didn't make the, the packaging very expensive, that's for sure. They spent more of their money on the design of the product than the packaging. Hey, that's a good sign though. Except when you're traveling with it and it could get damaged in the box. Well, you're not going to bring inside of this box. But when you're receiving it, when, when you order it. True. So this is it. Look at that. Do you think it's been used? No. This is so light. Yeah. Oh my goodness. It feels like a Lego block. That's how light it is. Like, if you forget about this cable, it feels like a Lego block. You know that one scene in Jurassic Park where the kid's like putting on that night vision helmet? Do you remember that? No. The lawyer was like, is it heavy? And the guy was like, yeah. Well, if it's heavy, then put it down. Oh. <laughs> it's expensive. Well, this is the opposite. But if you didn't know it, you'd think it was a cheap mouse. Like, yeah, yeah. probably. And if you didn't know, mm -hmm. you can look at the scroller here and it is actually hand painted and engraved with individual haiku scrolls. Ooh. So that's probably one of the reasons why the there was so much demand and a little bit of supply because of this part here, because this is hand drawn on the scroller. Apparently each mouse has its own individual haiku. I mean, we have the red one and we don't think it's the same one. I guess, yeah. We won't know because we, we didn't get know. two different ones. And it looks the same. But my goodness, you can definitely travel very far with this very easily. That's for sure. What are you aiming at? But this thing, the, the, the cable, wouldn't yes. that get kind of annoying? Oh, well, it's a super light cable as well. It's not the lightest cable. There are better cables out. Oh. What game are you playing? <laughs> Fortnite, obviously. Of course. I mean, what do you think? It does not light up. There's no there's no RGB on it. So it's like, yeah. What do you think? Well, I mean, for hunt, sorry, for $215 on Amazon.com, that's super expensive. But look at it. If you look closely, there's like this honeycomb pattern. Oh, that is a juicy shot right there. Look, look at that beauty angle. Nathan, include that. Not in there, in here. Oh, you can't see. Oh, look at that. You can clearly see there's honeycombs. This is to make it lighter. They cut out as much plastic as possible. It's even featured on the side as well. So they said that they designed this mouse from the bottom up. So they tried to remove as much as possible to make it as light as possible. Get it? The bottom up. There's also hex guns on the bottom as well. There we go. It is a, a good mouse. It's also used by Tfue, who is and it says ninja right on it. Well, I mean, it doesn't matter what's written on it. It's still the lightest mouse out there. I can definitely see if you are a competitive gamer, how this would help you out. Mm -hmm. if it's you're like not having a, a gamer, light badminton racket. Yeah, this is definitely for like a niche, niche market. And you have to be pretty competitive to be willing to pay up to a hundred, sorry, $215 for this mouse. Yes. A regular kind of amateur gamer or like ourselves, I would say, well, you're probably way better than me. Um, <laughs> I don't think that I would be able to, 
I don't think I could purchase this because no. I wouldn't find value in it. For everyday use, this thing would be terrible. I mean, imagine cleaning it off. You got Cheetos. You got Cheetos dripping inside of your key. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? You're, you're okay. sick now. I mean, you're, 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 I mean you, imagine cleaning this. Like, how would you clean this? You get one of those, like, air, uh, air compressors. Possibly, yeah. No, I like it. It's pretty cool. So, would you get it? Well, you bought it. But... I bought it. So I guess that's that's yeah, his answer. I, I get it. For me, probably not. To no. be honest, no. It's too expensive. Way too expensive. Yes. Maybe when they come out with more models and they're only ninety dollars, it's going to be a little bit more appealing. Mm -hmm. But two hundred and fifteen dollars just seems way over the top. Let us know what you guys think in the comments below. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed this video. And subscribe if you're new.